Well, it means we can breathe a little bit easier. You know, later today we're going to leave the White House. My husband's going to pick up our kids from daycare, and we're going to feed them dinner and put them to bed, and we're going to do that knowing that our family is protected. Uh, our love is the same. Our taxes are the same. Our experience as parents are the same as any other married couple. But uh, same-sex married couples have lived with the knowledge that our marriage, that the, the foundation of our families, uh, o only existed by a single vote on the Supreme Court. This changes that. This makes it the law of the land, passed by Congress, signed by the President, that, as most Americans already agree, ought to be the case. Our marriages are protected and equally respected in this country. And what are your just reaction to the, the big event today? All, all folks turning out. I know thousands were there. Uh, There's the an summer. amazing atmosphere yeah. of celebration. And uh, you know, I think part of why it felt like such a good day here at the White House is you know, so many of the uh, buildings, uh, sorry, uh, so many of the decisions that go on in this, this building uh, are really tough trade-offs where there's no way to solve one problem without creating another. There's no way to make somebody better off without making someone else worse off. But this Marriage Equality Act really does make everyone better off and makes no one worse off. It hurts nobody for there to be respect for same-sex marriages and interracial marriages. And I think that's reflected in the atmosphere of celebration that you saw with all of the people gathered on the South Lawn today. And were there concerns prior to this day that that right could be taken away? Sure. I mean, uh, look, when, when some of these more extreme voices, uh, especially on the hard right and even in the Supreme Court, when they say that they're interested in, in taking away these rights, I believe them because they took away the right to choose. Uh, Justice Thomas signaled uh, being interested in perhaps withdrawing the right to marriage, the rights to privacy, even the right to birth control, which sounds extreme. But then again, a lot of Americans would, uh, uh, would think that it was extreme to take away a woman's right to choose, and, and that's already happened. So, you know, so many rights and freedoms in this country are on precarious ground with the Supreme Court acting the way it has been. That's why it's so important for Congress and the President to act, as they did today. And I think you'll see more steps to try to protect those rights and freedoms that are at risk of being withdrawn by the court. And what is your hope moving forward uh, now that this is law? What is your hope, big picture? Well, my hope is that uh, we can, frankly, get on with our lives for those whose marriages have been up for debate and, and, and uh, worry about some of the other day-to-day -day things that uh, parents and families worry about, like, uh, you know, just getting your kids through school and, uh, you know, paying the bills and, and without having to have this hanging over you. So that's good news. There's more work to do. We need an Equality Act that uh, says you can't discriminate against somebody just because of who they are, because of who they love. I know that's a priority uh, for many in Congress and, and, and the president's supportive of it, too. I hope it happens.